Hi ladies, this is Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to do is kind of review some of my craft fair items and how we I've done some of the packaging, some of the finishing touches that I've put on them even after I've done my tutorials some of the redos and some of the pricing so i'm gonna get started now this one i have not shared yet this is what i call my gingerbread man cookie basket and to make this through the year i look for these baskets at hobby lobby to go on sale and i got this one for 50 percent off it's a wired line basket and then what i've got in here is a gingerbread man a really cute kitchen towel and a little matching little scrubby now I got these last year at the end of the year sale and I don't remember what I paid for them but it was hardly anything and then these little cookie cutters I've been lucky to find these at Target each year and they're only a dollar and then the only place that I'm able to find molasses is at Target, and this is like $3.39 or something like that, a jar. And I add that in there because I, I figure if you're going to make gingerbread man cookies, probably the last staple you would have would be molasses. So I try to add a little jar of molasses in there. And then I went on uh, Pinterest and found this five-star gingerbread man cookie recipe. I printed it off and then went on Cricut and printed off a gingerbread man cookie and it says recipe under the gingerbread man. Took some of my red elastic cord and just kind of rolled that up, scrolled it together. And then also last year at the end of uh, the year sale after Christmas, I found these gingerbread ornaments. And I know this was less than a dollar and it could have been less than 50 cents because they really mark things way down after Christmas. So I'm going to price this at um, $12.50. And uh, I only made three of these, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'll move this out of the way. Some of my shred left over. These were styrofoam cones, and I know at Hobby Lobby I had seen where they had covered these with uh, buffalo check and... Uh, the other day I was in there and they had some with buffalo check that didn't have any fur or anything around the bottom. And one this size I think was like $5.99 and of course you'd figure you'd probably get your 40% off that. And so I'm going to sell these as a set and I'm going to sell these for um, I think $12.50 for the set. That seems to be a good price for me this year. I don't know. There's three of them, and they're all different sizes, the so small, medium, and large. And you could arrange those any way you want. I don't know if you can see those very well. Try to get them in there. And I just got this little fur trim out of the ribbon section at Hobby Lobby and put that around the bottom. Uh... This is a redo. I've had this in my craft fair before, but this year I changed the ribbon. I made a bigger bow. I added this little bird nest out of um, Spanish moss, and I added this little cardinal that I had, all this in my stash. And this is a Walmart pick, and then I added some of a dollar pick to that. That was my original. Uh, little um what do you want to call it arrangement and then these little things i had picked up at hobby lobby on sale a long time ago and i vinyled farmer's market on there I don't know if you can see that good but anyway i'm going to be selling this for eight dollars and we'll see how that goes Now, when I'm pricing some of this, if you have different ideas or some input, please feel free to leave that for me. My craft fair, uh, I'll be going Thursday. This Thursday, so this is my 
final hurrah, I guess, trying to get it all together. Now, I know you've seen these if you've watched this tutorial, but I just wanna show you my finishing touch. I always try to put a pin in there and I had the hardest time trying to find any known pins online. I just couldn't believe I couldn't find any. So luckily at Michael's and their kind of uh, bargain bins, they had a package of three pins for $2.99. And I mean, I don't get it. One said Holly Jolly, one said Peace, and one said Home Sweet Gnome. So I went ahead and just picked those up. I can use those others for something else. And then I added two little candies that I found in the birthday aisle at Walmart. And I just tie a coordinating bow around those and stick those in the end. So I did that for the gnome. For the unicorn, I did find a unicorn pin. Those are really cute. I ordered those online. Really cute. And there's the llama little journal purse. So those are in there. For the mermaid, same thing. I found these mermaid pins at um, the Dollar Tree. So that was pretty easy to find those and put the candy in with those. And the way I put those together, I just use those little plastic rubber bands, the clear ones, and then I just tie a bow around it. And here is the one for the unicorn. And Oh, I love my little tassels. They're so cute. Like I said, that's an ornament that I picked out last year. And I just uh, found the cutest little pins online for unicorns. And they came in different colors. So I put those in the end as well. So I just wanted to share how I kind of put those finishing touches on there. Get these out of the way. And I'm going to sell these for $15. I sold them last year for 14 and I didn't have any problem selling them. Now, if you watch my tutorials where I made some of my soaps, this is my little lavender packs, okay? And I also did a tutorial on making lavender sachets. I had stamped these with a B pattern. There's a B under there stuffed them with some lavender buds and uh, tied them with a bow, put a little sprig, kind of looks like lavender in there. And then in my little basket, I've got some oh, little straw, some little purple shred from the Dollar Tree. And then I made these soaps with my soap molds. Isn't that pretty? This is lavender vanilla. And I had some little stickers made locally here and I <clears throat> had them leave it blank where, uh, you know, the scent would go so I could write it in. Because if you make these to sell, you're really supposed to legally put the ingredients on there. And I just couldn't print anything that small. So um, I found a place here in town that made them and they were really inexpensive. I mean, I could get like, I don't know, two or three sheets of these for I don't know, $3, $4. I mean, it was really a good deal. And they smell so good. And just look how pretty that mold is. And then I found these little lavender mitts at the Dollar Tree. And they were single. And I just tied a little white bow around those. And uh, I think I'm going to sell these for $7. And here's another one. And I just wanted to share this one because I love the way this uh, turned out the way I poured the white in first and then the lavender over and you can kind of see how that lavender maybe here we go or that's how it goes <laughs> that lavender shines through underneath I just think that is so pretty and then I just tied some jute and some ribbon and add some lavender sprigs again those I'm gonna sell for seven dollars and I don't know how well they'll do. We'll just have to wait and see. And this one is a little soap basket. And what I did here were, if you've been to Michael's, you saw all these little boxes that were like 99 cents. So I picked up some of those and I had a little stamp made here locally and I just, well, it's upside down. But anyway, I usually stamp the bottom to uh, kind of signify that I made that. This got some red shred in there and I'm gonna pull that out. Don't know where that came from. Well, yeah, I do. I've just been going 
a little bananas here trying to get all this done. But anyway, look at these molds. Here's the little bee. And these are honey, almond, oatmeal, vanilla. I have actually added uh, almond, sweet almond oil, ground up oatmeal, uh, vanilla uh, essence oil, and uh, honey, real raw honey. So I have a tutorial on that, but I think the molds are what just really make it pretty. Then I took just some muslin and just used my pinking shears, went around that, put some Dollar Tree shred in there, and I'm selling those also for $7. These, I just love, I think these turned out really cute. Can you see those really well? Okay, I've had these in my stash for probably about two years. This little decorative pick that I picked up at Hobby Lobby one year after Christmas sale. And I just knew I'd be able to use those colors at some point in time. And I did. And I had this ribbon also in my stash. I picked up these little uh, bath scrubs at the Dollar Tree. There were three in a package, and they're smaller. I like those. And if you saw some of my hauls, I picked these up at the end of the spring season sale at Hobby Lobby. And then I got this fur trim at Hobby Lobby in their ribbon section. Just put that around there. And then these are the little soaps I made in my tutorials. I put a unicorn. You remember those? This is cotton candy. And then the little mermaid, the shell, and the mermaid tail, they are um, strawberry. I'm also selling those for $7. And I have these mugs. I think I picked up at Tuesday morning at an after Christmas sale. So I have three of these. So I'm just gonna make three of these and I'm gonna sell these for $3. And I put some Ghirardelli peppermint hot cocoa, some peppermint candies. And these picks I had picked up at Joann's or somewhere after Christmas sale. Had my tags and I put some dark chocolate Milano cookies. You can buy those now in small packages already pre-packaged at Walmart. So I made three of those. If, <clears throat> excuse me. If you recall, I made these slate uh, rub-on transfer coasters, and the way I packaged those, these little wooden tubs I stamped on the bottom again were from Michael's, 99 cents at their bargain bin, and I just painted those. I put some straw underneath, put some cute ribbon around it, and just added a little, like, flower in there. These are the floral ones and I'm thinking, okay, what if they want to see them? So what I did was I cut out the transfers and uh, I'm taking those in a little baggie so I could show them what's on there without having to undo the whole thing. And here's the, the Christmas set and I just embellished that with a little pine cone down in there. I'm selling these for $6.50 a set. Okay. Oops, sorry. And then, if you recall, these little, oh, excuse me, sorry about that. These little, um, I'm calling them little vintage, Christmas vintage easels, but you can remove the uh, picture and add another picture. What I did for a finishing touch on these, I went back and I kind of uh, distressed around the edges, kind of inked around those. And what I'm gonna do is, I have, well, I did have it right over here, but I may have moved it. I have a little baggie, so I have a lot of extra pictures in, and I'm gonna ink around those, and I'm gonna let them choose a couple more, I think, to go with that. And I'm selling these for $4.50. I'm gonna reach over here and try not, oops, to get in the way. Put this stuff over. So I made this last year, but I'm bringing it back this year. These easels I got at Michael's a couple of years ago. And uh, I had, I wanna say like four of these, and this is the only one I have left. And I sold these for $10, and I think that's gonna leave that on there. 
So I thought that was cute. And then I made my wine tags, and I'm not sure how many I have of those, but they're basically just these two. If you can see those, one's a green and one's a red. So I'm gonna hook those on there. And what I display them on is uh, this Welch's sparkling non-alcoholic uh, grape juice cocktail. And that way, you know, they'll know what it's for and I'll just set these up and that'll make a good display. Now, I made four travels, uh, traveler notebooks and uh, have a little tassel on the side and I have an ink pen and on the inside it's just, um, you know, it has the uh, little journal or three journals with little pockets on the side. There's a folder in the center, and I added two little cut-aparts there. And I didn't have enough cut-aparts to put all through this, so I just couldn't couldn't put them in. But anyway, those are my traveler's journals. I'll get that down in there. And I'm selling those for uh, $10 a piece. I don't know about the price on that, but that's what I'm gonna price them at because I didn't have any cut-aparts to go in there or anything. So anyway got that and these I've had these in my sale last year I'm gonna put them in there one more time uh, they're little candle holders I got these at the Dollar Tree then I decorated them up and uh, hmm I don't know should I sell these as a set or sell them separately maybe Maybe, oh gee, I don't know. Three dollars a piece, two for five. That sounds like maybe what I might do. Kind of cute. Okay, let's think about that. You can help me out on that one. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, okay, this. This I had last year. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see all of this. It's a picture frame and um, I just decorated it. I had two larger ones and they sold and I'm gonna put this back. I may do a little bit of redo. I may add some different kind of greenery also up in there. I thought about changing the bow to more of a buffalo check or something. I don't know, that's a possibility. My other ones I sold for $25, and this one I have $12.50 on. It's a nice, heavy frame. This came from the Dollar Tree. Very cute. So, anyway, you can see what you think about that. Another thing. Okay, being a retired kindergarten teacher... I am a sucker for picking up all these cute little kitty things to do that go on sale and everything. I'm going to have to stop that because I just had so much of that this year that I know I will not sell all of these that I have. But that's okay because I thought, you know what, I can donate these. This is a Santa letter fun pack and it does have a Santa letter and envelope in there. And then uh, on the front, it's got two little pencil sharpeners, some stickers, it's got a little ink pen, it's got some crayons, got colored pencils. This one even has scissors. They're all different because I just pick up things. It has some, oh, uh, let's see, look in here. These little, uh, little suitcase satchels or whatever you call them, I got those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I kind of went nutty on those. <laughs> So that's why I have so many, but I had a lot of stuff to go in there. These little activity packs that came from Dollar Tree. Um, gosh, I picked these up at Michael's after Christmas oh, a couple years ago. They're not that expensive to begin with. And then when they go on, went on sale, they were like 24 of these with these nice little erasers in a package. So I picked those up, but anyway, I'm going to sell these for $6 a piece or two for 10 
And I have several of these. I'm not even gonna tell you how many because it's way too many. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I will have fun donating these if they don't sell. And, oh, let's see. These, whoops. These were from last year, and I'm gonna put those in again. This is, uh, I had picked up this little frame-like thing at Target, it was all red, and I painted it white and put buffalo check vinyl behind there. I had found this huge ornament, I think maybe at the Dollar Tree, so I kind of decorated it up with some of this um, uh, kind of a um, burlapy ribbon I had that kind of matched. And then I charged $10 for those. I had four of those and three of them came back. So I may lower the price on those. We'll see how it goes. And this one, I the same kind of frame from Target. I cut out all these pretty rose gold snowflakes from my Cricut. And I had found this ornament, Unto Us a Savior is Born. So I thought that made a pretty tabletop decoration and I also have $10 on that. And then the last one I made similar to that was I painted the frame black and I used the um, Buffalo check vinyl. And then I had this ornament that says Merry Christmas. It's like a mason jar and I had $10 on that. Okay, I think I only have maybe a couple things left to show you. And I'm not sure they're all going to fit in the camera. So let me see. Okay, I know this is not going to fit all in my camera. This is a wreath. I don't even know how to even try to get that in there without taking my camera off and causing a big... Uh, to do. I think I'll do that though. Hold on. Okay, this is my wreath. I'm going to try to let you see all of it. Now, I had this last year. I had $45 on it. People were interested, but it did not sell. But I keep in mind too, the place I'm going to is huge, this craft fair. And some booths, all they specialize in is wreaths. So, you know, there's competition there, a lot of competition. But anyway, this year I'm gonna put 35 on it and we'll see how it goes. And uh, now I'm gonna show you the other one. Okay, now this one is more white and silver. Uh, kind of zoom in, let you see the top, how that's made. I got the wreath frame itself. I had had it a year before I decided to make this wreath. I got it on after Christmas sale, of course. And also I had 45 on this one and I may go down to 35 as well. And like I said, they, they are pretty. They decorate your booth really pretty, even if they don't sell maybe. So last year, like I said, I made those two and then I made a really big one and it was really pretty. I put a lot into it, and I priced it at $115, and I sold that one, strangely enough. So you just never know. So anyway, so anyway, that's pretty much my packaging, my little uh, last minute uh, do-overs and uh, pricing and the little finishing touches. So now what I need to do to get ready is get myself a little organized. Now, I did a tutorial on this. You may have seen it. This is my little craft fair organizational journal. So what I do in here, what I have left to do now is right here, I have a section where I have gone through I've written everything down that I'm taking. I put the price over here. If I have a uh, price sign made for it, I put an S and uh, go ahead and circle that so I know I have a, 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 a 
a sign made for that, a price tag. And if I'm not gonna make a sign for it, I put a T beside it if I'm going to tag it. Like here, I put tags on these items. And then if I've already packed it, I make an X. So I know that one is packed and ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness. And then, this is my section I write ideas down in. Uh, items packed. I'm not going to write that because I've got that already <coughs> going there. And here's my <coughs> events. And this is... <coughs> I am so sorry. Excuse me. I'm going to grab a drink of water here. Oops. Drinking, uh, talking too much. I'm drinking too much. There, that helps. Okay, and on <clears throat> this section where it says events, where I have my craft fair, you have to have a city license. So I've got that, received that in the mail, so I've got that with me. So I keep it in this little section right here. And then back here, I have a section for essentials. And this just reminds me of the things I need to take. I've got tables, the tables cloths, little baker's racks, my little Christmas tree, a chair, my money bag, bags to put the um, products in that I sell, tissue paper, scissors, sticky dots, glue, tape runner, pins, my square, charger for my phone and iPad, sign for the charge cards, I do accept charge cards, Tape, paper clips, price tags, roller cart, strap, <laughs> water and snacks, my baskets that I put my little uh, littles in, and uh, Christmas tree, I have to decide to want my little one or my big one. So I do make myself a list of that. And then back here, after I, actually, yeah, these X's aren't packed. That is, if I have entered this item into my square, I go ahead and X that, and I know I've got that ready to go for my craft fair. So anyway, I gotta make sure everything is charged, make sure I have all my chargers, and bring my craft fair journal with me and make sure I've got enough money for change for those who want to use cash. And then I am ready to go. So ladies, I'm not sure if I'll be back on here until next week and hopefully everything goes well and I can't wait to share it with you. Hopefully I'll have time to kind of walk around and uh, video maybe some other booths and kind of show you what other people are doing at this big craft fair. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. I appreciate all your comments so much. You just don't know. I mean, we all learn from each other and um, I'm, I'm still trying to learn more about vinyl myself. That's kind of a, a bugaboo for me. So I'm going to be working on that. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.